It's another crazy day in the world of Magic the Gathering, my friends. Wizards of the Coast just announced a brand new secret layer. This secret layer is going to direct part of the money it makes to a sick kid's hospital. And yet there are still a whole bunch of Magic players who are really angry about this. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here today to talk about the brand new upcoming secret layer that Wizards of the Coast has just announced. Now this secret layer is Extra Life 2020. It is a charitable secret layer setup where they are going to give half of the proceeds to this sick kid's hospital. Okay, that's the idea behind it. So there are going to be four cards included in the secret layer. Those cards will all be themed around children. And I have to say, I'm a big fan of the cards in the secret layer. We'll get into the cards after we cover what people are upset about. And that way, if that's all you're interested in, you can go on your merry way. And also we can just enjoy the cards without thinking about the kind of ugliness that comes along with all of this, because some of the complaints I don't really, I can't really get behind, but I can also understand other people, other people's frustration. There's like a mix of things going on here. And for me also, like I'm a sucker when it comes to like children being hospitalized and stuff, dude, it pulls, it pulls on my heartstrings. Honestly, at least one of the recordings had to be scrapped because I got too emotional <laughs> thinking about it. I, I used to, um, I used to raise funds for like a sick kid's hospital and like it's a gratifying feeling but it's also heartbreaking thinking about those little those those little ones trapped in like a hospital bed and like i've been hospitalized for a couple of weeks at a time in the past and it's just scary and lonely and to think about kids being in that situation dude it it woo, takes me into realms of sadness and whatever so thinking about these kids getting help it gets me pumped right so We've got this secret layer where Wizards of the Coast is going to give half of the proceeds to charity. And this is where like the sticking point is for some people. For some people, they're frustrated and they want Wizards to give every penny to charity. So for some people, it's like, if you're going to do one of these charity sort of things, I want you to give all of the money to charity. So that's, that's one of the complaints that people have. Another complaint people have is the price. So when they did the previous charity secret layer, it was $50, right? And you got one more card than you get with this secret layer. This one is four cards and it costs $60. So at the end of the day, Wizards of the Coast is making you pay more for this secret layer, right? So that is a valid complaint where they are giving you less and charging you more. However, more of your money is also going to charity with this one. Now, I'm not saying that Wizards isn't getting more money from it as well because they are right like people are angry about the charitable tax donation aspect of this where they basically see this as almost like a con from wizards of the coast where they get to go hey we're giving to charity but we're really like people here's what people feel like you could have sold me this secret layer for forty dollars but you're charging me sixty dollars so you can take that extra 20 and go look i'm giving 20 more dollars to charity when it's like no I'm giving 20 more dollars to charity. Like you can't get a charitable donation receipt for doing this yourself, but Wizards of the Coast can get a big tax write-off, right? Basically the idea is the government has created this these tax laws that allow corporations when they donate to charities to write that money off, right? So you will get a reduction in your taxes, which increases your profits, right? Your bottom line is higher when you have to pay less in taxes. Now, there's a good reason that they do this. I mean, I understand people going, you should just be giving to charity. You should be giving them all the money or just let me decide if I want to give to charity. All these kind of scenarios. Stop charging so much for these cards and acting like you guys are the good guys by giving half. But let's be very real about something. Wizards of the Coast is a corporation. On top of being a corporation, they're not a like private corporation. They're owned by Hasbro. They have to run everything by Hasbro. Hasbro is not going to allow them to do a secret layer where Hasbro doesn't make any money. Wizards of the Coast has been given a directive to double its profits over the next five years. And we're midway in that mandate, right? So there is zero way that Wizards of the Coast is going to be allowed to make a secret layer 
for free. Now, while I understand people's frustration at the whole, hey, you guys are just getting this PR and looking like good people because let's say you sell 100,000 of these secret layers. Now, obviously, that's an exaggerated number probably, but if they sell 100,000 of these secret layers, do you know what that means? That means $3 million are going to charity. Like that's $3 million going to charity. Yes, it's $3 million going to Wizards of the Coast as well. Totally. But it's $3 million going to help little sick kids who are in a hospital right now. Like, I get that people are frustrated about what's going on with magic. I get that there's leftover anger about the walking dead. I get that. I completely understand. And I'm not telling you that your anger isn't warranted. And if you feel frustrated by the $60 price tag, just bear in mind that the, the, the reason that these tax breaks have been created is so that corporations will improve our society with their massive funds. Let's be very, very real about the state of secret layers and Magic the Gathering. These secret layers will sell regardless of how upset people are, and essentially regardless of what the price is. We saw the Fetchland secret layer go for a very hefty sum. Wizards of the Coast could have put out these four cards and charged 40, 50, or $60, and people would grumble, but they would still pay. So Wizards of the Coast could have just released another secret layer. They could have released this for $30, right? 30 or 40 bucks and made the same amount of money they're going to make off this anyways. And not a single penny goes to helping sick children. So from my perspective, it's just like, dude, corporations being incentivized to give money away for tax breaks, if it's money they get from the customers, I'm fine with that. That seems like a net positive for society. I mean, it's just some people feel like they're being strong. I have to give to charity if I want these cards. Yes, yes. You will be forced to support sick children in the hospital if you wish to purchase these special editions of the cards. Does it suck to not have access to everything? Of course. Dude, I want all the magic cards. I get that. Is everyone going to be able to afford the 60 bucks? Nope. I don't have the 60 bucks kicking around for it. I get that. You know what I mean? So, if you're frustrated because you just can't afford it and you might have been able to afford it at the lower price point, I can understand that. That is totally, like, I totally get that. But just being angry that the corporation is incentivized to give to charity through tax breaks, like, the fact that, that Wizards of the Coast gets to have more money at the end of the year because they gave a bunch of money to sick children in a hospital, how is that a bad thing? You know, like, that's where I get tripped up. That's where it really messes me up. But anyways, I feel like, I feel like I will cover the other, there, there are other complaints that people have that are fair as well. One of them is the fact that Ultra Pro definitely makes them, like, they are being greedy in a way here. Wizards of the Coast could do more for charity in this regard. They could do 60%, 70% towards charity. Like, they could put, they could put more towards a charity there. It's not, it's not like they're being the most generous, but still at the end of the day, what they're doing leads to better things happening in the world, right? So you can't, you can't toss that away. But when you compare it to what like Ultra Pro is doing, Ultra Pro is doing play mats that will feature the art of the four cards that I will show you when we move on to that part of the video. But they're charging $22 for the play mats. Then they're, they're submitting $16 of that as a charitable donation. So out of 22, they're giving 16, basically the lion's share. Almost like what, it's almost 70, 75% of what they're, give, they're getting is going to charity. Now that feels way better. You know what I mean? Like when you compare the two, Ultra Pro gets way more respect for me. But at the same time, I'm not going to look at any company going, we're trying to raise money for a children's sick hospital and go, oh, like I can't do it. It's, it's, not, it's not in me. So along with the playmats, uh, Wizards is going to be doing some uncut sheets, uh, eBay auctions, things like German 5th edition rare sheets, Ikoria mythic rare sheets of just showcase cards, and even a mystery booster convention edition where it's like all the weird like playtest cards or whatever. As far as I understand, I want that. And before we dive into the cards, since we're wrapping up all this as well, I do want to point out that when it comes to the arena sleeves that Wizards of the Coast is offering for extra life, they are, aside from the transactional fees that, that get charged or whatever, they're donating 
all the money from the arena sleeves to the Seattle Children's Hospital. Now, I am by no means here like defending wizards. I just think that the anger surrounding all of this is blown out of proportion and is just like a hangover from all the stuff we've been seeing. So now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's dive into the cards because man, some of these cards are amazing. The first one we're gonna look at is Teferi's Protection. And dude, I love this so much. I love the flavor of it. One white and two, it's an instant. Until your next turn, your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out Exiled to Fairy's Protection. So if you're not already aware, every card in this is a reprint. These aren't new. The flavor text says, I've walked a hundred worlds, but you are my universe. Oh, it touches my heart, man, for real. Just my old man heart flows with emotion. I'm so ridiculous. All right, so you look at the artwork and you can see to Fairy. This is like, normally you will see a father toss their child up and catch them. You know, it's a, it's a very sweet game to see, but this is like a planeswalker's twist on it, where you've got Teferi and he's just standing there with his arms outstretched as he's controlling the wind magic. And little Miyambi is just, that's his daughter, by the way, just hovering there in the air with their arms stretched out wide, looking all joyous. Like this is just a moment of pure joy in fatherhood. And I absolutely love it, man. It, it gets me, dude. The fact is, I've been doing a lot of lore on old school magic characters, man. Been reading a lot about Teferi and Urza and all them and having a great time with it. So it's really, really satisfying to see a card like this. All right, remain emotionally controlled. Let us move on to the next card, all right? Amulet of Vigor, one colorless for an artifact that says whenever a permanent enters the battlefield tapped and under your control, untap it. And the flavor text says, angels guide me while I wake and I will watch for evil's creep. Angels guard me while I dream, and I will rest in peaceful sleep. And that is the amulet inscription. And you can see a child looking down at it, kind of staring into its depths. It's, it's pretty serviceable artwork. Admittedly, the thing that stands out the most about this card to me is the fact that the flavor text feels like maybe it should be centered. It feels really weird with all that empty space on the one side. But I mean, that's a, that's a really minor nitpick. It's a nice card, though. So, like, I mean, the cards they chose for the secret layer are respectable. The next card we're going to talk about is Collected Company, and that's one green and three for an instant. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. And you can see this, like, arrangement of, like, young cub Leonin warriors these are like new, that's why they've got like the lowest, the, the low casting cost and everything, because they're like little kids, they're juvenile. And even in the background, you can see the real youngsters kind of playing around and scrambling around, dude. I really, I, I love this secret layer. It's so cool, all right? So the last card we're gonna talk about is Consecrated Sphinx. What a doozy of a card. This card's really powerful. Two blue and four for a four six flyer. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may draw two cards. What? Like, that's insane. Especially if you like to play multiplayer. But even in a one-player game, it's nuts. The, the amount of resources that you get from it are completely out of whack. The flavor text says, I can only glimpse the future. These little ones will bring it about. And you see this sphinx, and he's surrounded by all these kids. And it's like, is he up on a roost? Has he seen glimpses of the future and he knows that all these children specifically are going to be like the world leaders? So he's there offering them guidance and knowledge. You know, like it's just, it's a really cool idea. Like the Consecrated Sphinx originally when we were given it was consecrated to Phyrexia, which actually makes it an abomination. But this is more like Consecrated Sphinx, like almost like he could be like a religious totem of the humans on this planet on this plane where it's basically like, like this is the holy site and this is a, like a holy sphinx blessed by the gods. It's such an interesting twist to the concept and the artwork is great. Like the sphinx looks awesome, the kids surrounding him, the multiple moons in the background, the whole thing ties together absolutely fantastically. I've got to say, I'm a huge fan of the cards in this secret lair. They're all absolutely cube worthy. Speaking of the cube, I forgot, tonight my friends, I've got this, uh, I've been mailed what's most likely a magic card. I looked it through the light and I think there's a magic card for my cube in here. So 
we're going to take a look at that. Oh, and I guess um, I should also mention that apparently there's a lawsuit coming against Wizards of the Coast. I was sent a copy of it, and I'm going to be taking a look at it. We might do a live reading. Uh, it's like 23 pages long. We might do a live reading of the lawsuit against Wizards of the Coast. So if you'd be interested in seeing that in tonight's live stream, let me know about that in the comments below. And also, if you haven't been to my live streams and you've ever seen the warning on my channel in the about section that says, this channel's not for kids, if you come to the live streams, you'll find out why. Because I don't do it in the videos, but in the live streams, I use language that would melt the paint off of a barn. All right, so bear that in mind. Anyways, overall, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you wanna make fun of me for getting all teary-eyed in the middle, I'm sure you could see it, then go ahead, I don't care. I've got emotions and I'm not afraid of them, all right? <laughs> so, thanks for coming by, everybody. You like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, all great for the channel. You love what I do, jump on my Patreon, I love that. Got a brand new lore video I released yesterday. I'll link it up here, so if you wanna know why I like Teferi and the old character so much, go check out the lore video. Fantastic stuff, and I got another one coming in a few more days. So thanks for coming by, everybody, and I will see you guys tonight.